morning, everyone. Can you hear me all right? Excellent. Um, good morning, and welcome to uh, the, one of the first panels for Media Democracy Days 2016. My name is uh, Fred Visage, and I'll be uh, chairing uh, this morning's panel. Um, the topic, the theme, is radical librarianship. Um, and we've invited a group of people, three societal stewards, who are independently filling the gaps of information access in diverse communities. And in some cases, they build bridges between sources of information and agents of change. In other ways, they carve out alternative avenues of learning, communicating, and connecting with the world around us. This panel brings together individuals and groups who actively reflect the notions of librarianship and archiving as support for so social equity and or political action. So we'll be introducing each individual um, uh, speaker as, as they come along. The, the format this morning is, is pretty straightforward. We'll, we'll have individual presentations from each of the, the uh, panelists. Uh, afterwards, we'll, we'll open up for uh, a panel discussion for about 10 minutes. And then we'll open it up to the floor uh, for questions. Hopefully that works for everyone. Yes? Excellent. Cheers. OK. Well then, uh, without further ado then, uh, I'd like to start with uh, Melissa Adams, who's here. Um, she's a member of the Niska uh, Nation. Um, she is uh, the librarian and archivist at the Union of BC Indian Chiefs where she supports the organization's work representing and advocating for indigenous interests, rights, and title. This includes managing the library collection, institutional archives, and digital resources, as well as providing reference services and training support to both members of indigenous communities and other wider publics. So uh, I invite you all to welcome Linda Sands. Just have to get my presentation up here. So. 